Tahu gak? What I have in front of me is a steering wheel and a pre-cut piece of leather. One of the most mistakes that people do when they saw their steering wheels, not even. So what I'm gonna show you is how to avoid that mistake. That's a, a, a trick that we use at West Coast Customs. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna pass the sewing machine through the leather. I'm gonna fold it up like this so you don't miss. Every single poke is gonna be in the same position and the right position. So the second part is gonna be the easiest part. So let me show you how. Follow me, my babies. First thing, you know, so you, you don't have a split end. When you start sewing your, your, your steering wheel, first thing you gotta do is make sure that you, the first time the needle poke the leather is gonna be almost at the very end, less than a one eight, like half of an eight. So that way, when you start sewing your steering wheel, you don't have a, this. I don't know if you, if you notice when your homies, your friends, steering wheels, the very ends are split like this. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. Just let it roll. Slowly, so as you can see, the thread, I pulled my thread out of the middle, so that way, you're not sewing the piece of leather together. See that? So if you fold the material in half, the same quantity, of holes on the top, the bottom. This is the second thing. Always measure the thread. So that way you don't end it half, halfway, because that's difficult that, that, that way. See? You kind of measure the thread, always give me like a few more inches. Double it up. Cut it. One, two, two needles. Once you have everything ready, make sure that you place the leather. Some people use glue just to hold the leather in place, but you know, you can always start working the leather when, when you do the first stitch. This is needle number one. This is needle number two. So to make sure that the end ain't gonna split, what you do, is you go back to the same hole and pass the needle from the right to the left, and the one from the left to the right. So now what you do, look. See, when you start passing the, the, the needles to the side, look, this is what happened. Turn up your tray. So you can see that's a perfect pattern. It's only one, one or two inches that I've been sewing already. And you can see already it's a perfect pattern. That's what happens when you already have a perforated leather. There is no way that it's gonna be out of alignment. Once I get through the whole piece of leather, it's gonna look just like the factory. If not, better. This has been your tech tip for today. I'm Mitch from West Coast Customs. Until the next one, see you. Yoga, yoga, yoga.